What's going on my little piglets? It's your BFF Pork Chop here and I'm coming at you with another update with Pork Chop. So, I was supposed to post one of these on, what did I say, Saturday or Sunday? Um, the day has kind of escaped me. Um, Saturday, um, I had too much stuff going on. And then Sunday was the anniversary of my wife and I meeting for the first time. So I decided to spend the day with her. And then uh, Monday, we uh, had a uh, birthday dinner because it was my wife's birthday on Monday. Um, but Sunday, I don't know if I should tell y'all or not. Because I don't know when I'm going to post this. I don't want to promise y'all something and not post it for a hot minute. Um... My wife and I filmed a food review on Saturday last week, or Sunday last week. Um, not going to tell you what it is, but uh, we filmed a food review, and I have no idea when I'm going to have time to edit it. So probably Friday. I'll probably edit that Friday and hopefully get it up on Friday. How does that sound for y'all? Leave me a comment if you're excited, potentially for a food review on Friday with uh, me and the wife. Uh, let me know. So that's what we did. Um, I told you guys I was going to do these uh, twice a week. Twice a week. So this is this week, the first one for this week. Um, and hopefully if I have time, I probably won't be able to do it on Saturday because uh, I'm going out of town on Saturday. I'm going to, uh, it's only like 20 minutes out of town, but it's a, a family event that we have uh, every year uh, in Bushland, Texas, um, which is uh, pretty much a it, it's like it, it's like a like a uh, an expansion pack of Amarillo. You got Bushland and you got Bishop Hills and all these other areas. They're kind of like expansion packs for the town. So um, like even if you put it in your GPS, it still says it's Amarillo. So there you go. Uh, having a cookout. My uh, my family has a, a golf tournament every year, um, but this year it got canceled. So they're having their own little. Uh, prompt to uh, golf tournament uh, between uh, my relatives um, just four of them but uh, it's something that they do every year so they're like hey screw y'all we're gonna do our own because golf is the definition of a non-contact sport in uh, social distancing because you whack a ball and you go hundreds of miles away and miles hundreds of yards away and you know you putt and everything so it, it just it's a very good social distancing sport so that's what I'll be doing Saturday so probably Sunday so you get one today and maybe Sunday if I can squeeze enough time out to do so and because uh, they try to get me to work on Saturday uh, somebody asked me if they wanted to uh, pick up a shift for him and I was like oh, I'm gonna be out of town and they're like oh okay <laughs> they just walk back in like dang it because I guess I'm trying to find somebody to cover but it's like sorry bro I'm spoken for on Saturday um, but yeah, I took my wife Monday night, uh, to, uh, Aspen Creek, uh, Rocky Mountain Monday, dude, it's hard to beat. Uh, she didn't get, uh, Rocky Mountain Monday though. She got the jambalaya and she says it was really, really, really good. And so that's what she had for her birthday dinner and, uh, for everybody's birthday at her, uh, her, uh, the flower shop she works at, they, uh, they always go all out. They give each other gifts and, uh. You get to pick where you want to have lunch. So, Fuzzy's Tacos is uh, what my wife chose, and uh, she was uh, very happy with her choice. And so, yeah, um, guys, there's, there are a few things um, that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to put into motion here. Um, if you guys can, uh, you know, send me some positive reinforcement. If you guys can send me some good vibes, all that good stuff. Uh, 2020 has not been the year that I expected it to be. Um, like I told you guys at the beginning, my goals for 2020 were to uh, do certain projects and uh, family-wise, you know, do this and do that financially. Um, curveball. This is the definition of a curveball that uh, 2020 has thrown us. So uh, I'm already looking forward. Sorry, I'm already looking forward to 2021. And with 2021, um, I already have a list of things that I would like to do. Uh, 2020, I still have a couple of things, obviously, because we're at the second half of it. So uh, maybe it'll be one of those. <laughs> well, they, they had us in the first half, but we got them in the second half type of situations. Uh, so, I mean, we, we still got, you know, fall to look forward to. Uh, 
the uh, the college football season uh, is looking bleak right now. The NFL looks like it's going to go uh, as of right now full swing, and uh, we got with I think next, actually next week we got baseball games and then uh, basketball games the next week, uh, and then we got hockey uh, the first of August. So it's uh, things are hopefully are starting to look up. Uh, New York, who was a hotbed for the uh, COVID-19, um, is bouncing back and they're doing great. But then you have all these other cities that are getting hit by the second wave. Uh, Houston being a big, big, big hotbed for the state uh, to the point where Abbott says if we can't get it under control, we're going to have to close the entire state and uh, self-isolate for 14 days, which uh, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I could use another little 14-day vacay. Um, to uh, finish some projects that I'm working on and to uh, get more ideas for 2021. Um, but, I mean, because all the things that I was going to do for the first quarantine, like I did some of them, but not all of them. And so I'd like to have the opportunity to uh, to finish what I started and a few projects. But anyway, uh, my wife and I, a couple of, uh, actually, yeah, a couple of weeks ago, we started talking about getting my brand out there. Whether it be like uh, shirts or stickers or uh, cups, you know, stuff like that, you know, trying to, you know, get some market marketing out there um, with, uh, you know, t-shirt designs and stuff like that. Because, I, I mean, I've had people ask me in the past, not a whole lot, and it's not going to be enough for me to, you know, quit my day job and, and uh, sell t-shirts, sell merchandise, um, but... Uh, something I'm definitely interested in. Again, if you guys would comment, if you guys are interested in that, I would greatly appreciate y'all. Um, T-shirts, stickers, cups, um, all that good stuff. Um, we got a few uh, shirt designs that uh, I am uh, spitballing um, and uh, just throwing shit at the wall and seeing what sticks. Uh, my wife actually likes a couple of the uh, design ideas that I have. And uh, if you guys are interested in that, uh, let me know. Uh, I'm going to try to... Uh, keep the prices at a minimum uh, if I do decide to do that I mean you guys can get a t-shirt or whatever I'm not gonna disclose any of the designs yet because I want to leave you all in suspense you know shh, maybe you know something that I can do later on in the year or maybe even 2021 because that's looking like that's gonna be the uh, the launch pad for uh, everybody for next year <laughs> Because 2020 is pretty much shot for a lot of people so maybe 2021 and you know, maybe this could be something that I could eventually do. Like, I want to do, like, a, a Patreon. I want to do all these other things. And, you know, I just need help. I need support. I need the piglets to rise up. And I need y'all to be, uh, to uh, be a, you know, a vocal group. And I need y'all to stand up and be counted because uh, I can't do this alone. Uh, like I tell you guys, this is a, a democracy. And I'm just the... Uh, appointed leader of this channel so I ask you guys questions all the time with the polls and I ask you guys for y'all's input and uh, I try to uh, keep y'all excited about the uh, premieres that I have like especially for the Huskies and videos like that and uh, these vlogs like I said that I'm trying to do twice a week you know I'm just trying to fill the vibe and um, just a lot of uh, positive feedback would be greatly appreciated uh, I did get a comment from uh, my uh, one of my piglets, uh, Wesley Apex, who was responsible for getting me to my 3K goal last year. Um, he said it looks like I've lost a lot of weight. Yeah, I've lost a lot of weight. Uh, I've actually kind of plateaued since the last time I weighed myself. I'm still at uh, 227. And, uh, actually, 226. 226. I apologize, y'all. 226. I I'm lying about my weight here. Ooh. So, I've actually kind of plateaued, and that's okay, because that's 10 pounds lighter than my uh, my high school weight, and, you know, I'm starting to eat a little bit healthier, I'm starting to uh, cut out, you know, the BS when it comes to nutrition and stuff like that, and uh, I actually did find a uh, protein bar that is fantastic, I'm not getting sponsored, obviously, because, you know, whatever, uh, Fit Crunch, um, it is a bar that is uh, developed by uh, Chef Irving. Uh, Robert Irving, uh, you guys might have seen him on like uh, 
Bar Rest, I think he's on Bar Rescue and Restaurant Rescue, all those type of shows. He has, I've only seen three flavors, but they're all fantastic. They're all uh, 30 grams of protein, which is a big, big chunk of your day. The carbs are 27 uh, grams uh, worth of carbs. Um, the sugar isn't too bad. It's only like seven grams of sugar. Uh, the sodium is, eh, it's, it's up there. Do I have a wrapper? Actually, let me see. Cause I, I eat, I eat like once, I try to eat like once a day is, is uh, what I've been doing. Do I even have a wrapper? No, I don't. I was about to say. Yeah. Now you guys can just watch me dig through my trash for no damn reason. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah, anyway. I'll, uh, I'll give you guys more information as I uh, get it. But uh, I'm going to continue to ask you guys some, some more questions on the uh, community tab. Um, got fantasy football right around the corner. So if you guys want to join the league, uh, comment down below that you're interested. And uh, I'll get you uh, kind of uh, reserved for the, uh, the Piglet Army football, fantasy football league. Um, I, I'm, I'm, last year I tried to give out a trophy, but the guy that won it was just like a, uh, a guy that kind of swooped in to uh, fill a slot. I'd never heard of him or anything like that. Um, he won, and I am not able to get in contact with him. Like, I don't know what the hell happened, but I, I've been trying. And my goal was to get a trophy uh, for the winner of the Piglet Army, just like I do for my uh, League of Shadows uh, fantasy football league where uh, I'm the commissioner so I, I'm a commissioner of uh, two football leagues um, but uh, that's coming up and I'm listening to a lot of podcasts and, and reading articles about you know sleepers and busts and first round halves and first rounds totally avoid these guys um, so it's uh, it's getting like that oh my gosh I don't know if you guys saw that was that Did somebody take a picture of me no paparazzi please or was that just just thunder and lightning who knows but anyway so you guys are interested join the football league uh the, the piglet army fantasy football league let me know and uh we'll just go from there guys uh probably won't draft until about the last week uh the week before the season starts is usually when i like to do it. one or two weeks before the season starts is usually when i like to do uh the drafts but uh yeah if you guys are interested in that let me know all right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you all so much once again for dropping by. I hope you guys are having a badass week. Uh, I've officially got off of that hump, so tomorrow is starting the uh, the wee of it. You know, you climb all the way to Wednesday, and then you just go down. So uh, hopefully your Thursday and Friday are fantastic, and I hope that your weekend is badass ahead. Uh, I'll talk to you guys at some point uh, this weekend or next weekend. But... Uh, or beginning of next week, I should say. Uh, but until then, you guys, thank you so much once again for dropping by. And always remember my little piglets, Colin Porkchop. Loves y'all the most. y'all take it easy, guys. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys!